I'm gonna call flow. you Joe Setti, right? You can call me however you want. Well, I mean, I call you Jojo. I'm look, this is a professional. What do you want, Josetti? I want you us to be us. Oh, okay. All right, Jojo. Okay, I there we go. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because I have with me my acting coach. Yes, I have an acting coach. This is Mr. Brian Lally. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm Brian Lally. I'm the owner of Lola's Acting School, and I was lucky enough to meet JoJo six years ago and, uh, and coached her and uh, started a wonderful working relationship and friendship. So I'm glad to be here today. Thank you, JoJo. Oh, yeah. Time goes too fast. Too fast. And it feels that it was yesterday when I started classes with you. Yeah, yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. So let me because tell you. Because you uh, had a lot of energy. And I still do. Yeah. <laughs> I still do. But that's what you need for this, huh? Right. You do need that. Well, you do. But I'd rather comes... somebody telling me, tone it down, yeah. than I need more from you. Right. Oh, no. But yours comes from a real place. You're that type of person. So I want to tell a little bit like of a backup story. Uh, I've, I've been studying acting like for three years uh, when I was in New York Film Academy. But then I found out about this technique. It's, uh, it's called Meisner. And... It was either or New York or LA and at that time it was my first time like visiting LA I was like let me check it out and I went to check James Franco's school yes he is James Franco's coach well he's been for how many years hey this is James um, just want to talk about Brian Lally for a minute uh, I've known him for probably 15 years uh, met him over at Playhouse West we've done probably about five million plays together, including um, a couple that I wrote. He's been in almost every single one of my movies, so obviously I think he's a great actor and, and he's a great teacher. You know, we started uh, Studio Four and he's one of the um, core teachers there and, and has really helped me uh, design the, the curriculum and the way that, that we work over there. So, it doesn't get better than Brian Lally. He's, he's uh, one of my oldest friends and one of my oldest collaborators. So. Well, back then we worked together a lot for a long time, and then we I created the school, mm -hmm. and James was co-owner with it, so we collaborated, um, I guess, about 14 years. He started in a class that I was in at a different school, and uh, we had a mutual admiration, so we worked together on 28 projects over the years, and, and so that, that uh, collaboration has ended. But for many, many years, we, yeah. we did collaborate. So I went to James Franco school, and I was, to be honest, it was God. He put me, uh, Brian, that's the, I didn't pick him. It was like, you know, from the options. Right. But then when I met him, and I've seen other, like, um, other coaches, and I was like, no, this is the one for me. I just fell immediately in love. It feels like, uh, I feel safe. We're going to talk more about this technique and why I'm telling you that you need to be with someone safe because... This technique is very, very deep, and I love it. I, I felt safe to just giving my soul to Brian and help me use that for my work, for, for my life, for my work, for everything. And, um, and then he decided to open up his own school, and I was like, I'm coming with my coach. It was too late. I was already sold out. I was like, I'm coming whenever you're going. That's it. And But I want to say this. this is something you brought up that's very important. When you're at the beginning process or any, any process as an artist and especially an actor, and you said you felt safe, which is an environment I'd like to create because you're going to be putting yourself out there. You're going to be revealing yourself. And if you don't feel safe, you're not going to, you're not going to feel comfortable taking chances. Uh, which is the environment we have, which is what Jojo learned to do, and that was uh, it's exciting when people first begin to begin to uh, you know reveal and express and become who they truly are. Yeah. And it's making me very uncomfortable. It's making you uncomfortable. It's making me uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable being here right now. Then leave. You're not finishing your sentence. Yeah, I don't like you putting words in my words. You don't like mouth. me putting words in your mouth. I'm trying to think how to say things. That's what it is. I okay. have to translate constantly, You're so trying. this is why, yes. You're trying to explain to me, okay. Oh, I feel like such a bitch to you, and it's not, uh, and... You feel like you can't control Jessica, I, I recommend you, yes. Fucking stop the thing, you need to stop it. I need to stop it? I feel 
like you're being angry with me for no reason. What you're trying not to say is, I mean, you don't want to tell me you're playing your reason. Yeah. Which, it, which it would, if you reason strong enough, it will carry you through, even if you're not thinking about it. I like the fact that you said, uh, what you said, I'm trying to translate, I'm trying to... I used to be scared of that before. Yeah, well, like, yeah. But now that, I say it. But that's not part of the story when it comes out like that. Look, I'm trying to do this. If not, you're not sitting down going, look, I'm here, I'm cutting, and you're there. And it, you're like, no, I'm trying to do this, Yashika. This is what I'm trying to do. Uh, I've heard that... How can you pretend to be somebody else when you cannot even be yourself? So we need to take care of that first in order to play other characters or trying to be someone sure, else. Sure, sure. You have to find out what matters to you. So one of the main reasons I thought of sharing more about this technique and about what Brian have taught me is because it's really... Uh, improved my work like I feel like who I am today is thanks to Brian and this technique well that's uh, that's quite generous I will I always appreciate say that. It. I, I appreciate I, it and I always said it I know you did I know you've been saying it for a long time and I've always appreciated it so uh, with this te technique can really improve all aspects of your life because it find you find out what really matters to you yeah, seriously, there's a lot of things uh, that, you, that you think may, may matter to you, but we really get into the crux of, of who you are. And Jojo was talking about taking it out to the real world because you don't even know you're going to be doing it, but all of a sudden you find yourself arguing with, uh, uh, with, with more people because it starts with the repetition exercise. And, I, feel and, like, yeah, I feel like I have less friends now. But they're the true friends. Right, right. <laughs> because you, you see through people. The thing is, is that you, if you want to get more depth into your life, this is part of it. And when you're listening to people talk with this technique, you can start to really feel what they're really saying and who they really are. And it just happens through just, uh, you know, repeating it, not just the exercise but repeating this, this work and rehearsing and really ingraining it into you uh, a, over and over. And then all of a sudden it just becomes part of your life, which, which as an actor you want it to become part of your life too. But, but it can, you know, if you're, if you're an influencer and you're doing so well on TikTok or, or YouTube and you want to just go to the next level, there's a lot of great artists who are always trying to step to the next level, even though they're already very successful. It's something like the, the Meisner think, technique can, can get you really grounded. And do you think that we all become like more, like me, I feel like I become more sensitive of like, oh, oh bullshit. Yeah. Oh, or, yeah. Something, oh, yeah. Or something. Or it's like, no, you're telling me that. And I'm like not afraid now to, not to call it off, but I've learned that just so we can be clear and move forward. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, dude, I know so exactly what you mean. I, I, I always, uh, I feel like that's stayed with me from this technique and this training. And again, so far, sometimes I feel I am being too tough. I'm like, no, but I made my my point clear. I've worked with people that I want to work now. Mm -hmm. And I got, I I pushed away other ones that I don't want. So it, it, it's because I didn't stay quiet. I just said what my heart was. Like, right. Always with right. respect, of course, right? Right. But, um... But this is why, yes, I wanted to share with, with everyone that it's out there trying to not just pursue like acting. It's like if you want to uh, take it to the next step, just like we were talking about Lady Gaga, right? Yeah. Guys, I've been doing Meissner for three years with Brian when like six years ago I, did, I started with him. And before that, I've taken many workshops and I went to Neurofilm Academy. So I've been training my whole life. So when something comes good and you like it, I'm like, good, yes, I prepared for this. And that's when we talked about Lady Gaga, right? Yeah. What she said. Well, yeah, yeah. I want to. I always want to say that because she was so passionate about it that she is such a big star already. She's wealthy and, and such an artist. And then when she did A Star Is Born... She wanted to go on the shows and say, I studied this for 10 years. I'm a trained actor, so it was important for her to get the validation, to put out the validity of what she did and how she got to this point that it wasn't handed to her. And I just always admired that in her. She was already a huge star. Well, you know, I did soap operas in Peru, like a couple, like three uh, uh, TV series there. And... 
like I never like really went to acting school in Peru like with all the famous uh, uh, actors there so that's why people like sometimes were wondering and I'm, now that I have a bigger platform I think and for the new people that are getting to know me I was thinking I think it's good for them to know like and share my secrets or like that my training right that it can help them because I have so many also artists that are just starting and I'm like it's time to like reveal a little bit about me and get to know me better and who are the people that I'm always thankful for. I, and I think that's great that you already had success. You could have continued on that road, but there was something in your gut as an artist that told you, I want to improve, I want to improve, I want to improve. And as long as I've known you, that's what you've done. So it's great to put that out there that you were successful. You could have stayed in that vein. You could have had money, you could have had fame, and then you, but you said, no, 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 I want to grow and see what else is out well, there for also, me. Brandon, to be quite honest, like, this times that we're going through, like, um, you know, like, we can't say the word because then I get blocked, but, you know, the times that we're, like, <laughs> with the crown, <laughs> with, with the crown situation, <laughs> well, um, I feel like more than ever, I have to take care of my, my, my internal, mm -hmm. my, my, my spirituality, my, my, my real passion and why I'm doing this. I came back stronger, the re why I love what I'm doing and why I'm doing things. And if I have that part solved, which involves family, my passion and acting is one of the things that I love the most. Uh, even when it gets tired, mm -hmm. like I was telling you, I'm like, I can't stay still. I went on vacation two weeks and I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to go back and create and more. And then right before I left the vacation, I was like, Brian, he's the one that I need like now, like at least once a week. So I'm not going to take that with me. I want to take you through this and with Ryan have at least a once a week, we're going to take you through Meisner, like the introduction, what's Meisner, mm -hmm. what's like, and every exercise, step by step, just like when you do exercises, like to, um, like, what's it called, gym exercises, the same way right. with this fabulous technique. What we're going to show you is the genius of the originator of the technique, Sanford Meisner, who created these exercises that may have seemed so bizarre back in 1935 when he started doing this, but they've lasted for this whole time, and there's some that I've actually improved upon. But this man came up with these exercises that change the way people act all over the world. So it's the genius of Sanford Meisner that we're gonna we're gonna tell you about. 